Hi everyone, today we're going to take a look at consonant clusters. What are consonants? Consonants are letters other than vowels. And vowels are A, E, I, O, and U, and sometimes Y. A cluster is a grouping of letters. This group or cluster of consonants works together as a team. You can hear each sound in the consonant cluster. After you've cut out your words and they're nice and neat, you should have all the beginning sounds on one side and facing up like what we have here. And then all of the ending sides or endings of the words should be on the other side. And see how nice and neat these are. Now, what are you doing with TR? Can you tell me? What you can do is that you can slide it around and then find a word. Well, don't go too sense. fast. Tell me like exactly what, like show me how it works. So you can put it right here and if it makes sense, then it could be a word and you can put ha. it aside. How can you tell if it makes sense? By saying it. Yeah, just say it out loud. Yeah. Is trunch a word? No, that's not a word, crunch. So listen, you guys, go ahead and take this, the beginning sounds. Can I try this one? And what you could do is you could go right along. Trunch isn't a word. Tread. Well, tread actually is a word, but believe it or not, this isn't how you spell it. But if there's a, something that you're not sure about, you could kind of just pull it out and we could you know, talk about that. Trice. Or I look on Siri. You could try using Siri, trice. A trice actually is a word too, but I'm not sure if that's how you spell it. We could pull that out. Let me try all of this. Instead of TR, I liked it for just to show as an example in the video. Let's try using PR because that really worked. Crunch. Is that a word? No, it's not. Pred. That's not a word either. Say it out loud. Price. Price. Is that a word? Yeah, that's definitely a word. So we can pull this out. I don't want I'm not going to take this to the side just yet. I'm just going to like bring this out. How about prone, prone? No, that's not a word. How about prot? That's not a word. Proc? No. Prank. Is that a word? Yeah. Yeah. So we'll pull that out. How about this one? There are consonant clusters at the beginnings of words, and some words have consonant clusters at the end. The word stump has a consonant cluster at the beginning and the end. You can really hear the ST stump at the beginning and the MP at the end, stump. Here's another one, the word spend. I'm going to the store to spend all of my money. You can hear spend the SP at the beginning and spend the ND at the end. No. Prift, no. Roar, no. How about proud? Yeah. yeah, so we pull that out. Today you're gonna be writing down words that have consonant blends at the end and you'll be changing the beginning of the word. Let's take the word blink. That was a consonant cluster at the beginning and the end. And by simply changing the vowel from an I to an A, you completely change the word. It goes from blink to blank. You can change the entire beginning of the word though. Here we have toast ending with the constant cluster ST and you could change the whole beginning to PO to make the word post. You still hear that consonant cluster at the end and the O sound still exists, but it's spelled completely different. It goes from an OA to simply an O. The main thing is to keep the end consonant cluster the same. So from the word pink, you have stink. That saves the same vowel sound of the soft I, I. But you could just as easily change pink into stank, um, a past tense version of stink. 
you can really hear that constant cluster of NK at the end. And that's the ticket. How about crack? No. This one doesn't even have a vowel. That's not going to be one. You brought two pieces of paper home. One had word cards on it. You can cut out those words and arrange them in order, reading them out loud and thinking about what other words use the same ending consonant cluster. The second paper that you brought home is simply two empty columns of lines. The idea is for you to write down words from your word cards in the first column, and then that arrow in the middle points to another word that you're to come up with on your own that has the same consonant cluster as the word in the first column, but in the second column, you're going to change the beginning of the word. So now, um, you could like pick your favorite one. 